Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Today is kind of a special day. If you guys watched the last video, we went to Garrett's Pond. We we caught a giant koi. Still don't know how much that koi costs, and we need to get a price on them, but we're out here today. We need to go ahead and unhook the boat, but today we got to build a live well. We got to build a big cooler live well, homemade live well. I think we're just going to run to Walmart, buy a cooler. I already got bilge pump for it, so all we need to do is go get breakfast and get a cooler. What you got there? We got a bilge pump. Bilge C pump, boys. C bilge bilge pump. pump. Straight off that Amazon Prime, bro. Let's go to Walmart. Your cameraman for the rest of the day, Miller. No. Yep. No. Yep. Miller. Yes. Are you recording? Yes. Miller! Yes. Look at that beautiful Walmart sign. Well, ladies and gentlemen, we've made it to the Walmart. Let's go see what kind of coolers they got. Miller, take your camera, dog. I don't even want it. <laughs> it's your camera. I don't want it. To Walmart we go. Hi, Brooke, friends. Hey, hi, channel. <laughs> hey, Lippin' Bass, you want a you pop tag? Like right there? Yes. Oh, uh, right there. It's right there. Yeah. Subscribe. It's gonna right. say ripping ass. TV. Yeah, it's gonna say something totally wrong. <laughs> Lipping bass TV. No, that's not what it said there, Brandon. It's Corona time. Let's go get a cooler. There's a big cooler right there. You spent $84 on the cooler? That's a pretty good one right there. That one might, it's a little big though. Peter, you wanna grab the other side? Oh, big guy. Could get a spare bilge pump. We're gonna need this. We're gonna need this. All right, let's go. Our cooler options are actually kind of slim because people are stocking up on food for the coronavirus. <laughs> it's like I crack it and it doesn't hold water anymore. <laughs> now I gotta go build it. Yo, I hope I have some epoxy at home. Oh boy, it's a cold one today. Oh. I just want to see how this thing fits for the bass tournaments. It's a big son of a gun right here. That's a big cooler. It is, dude, but it's, I'd rather have more than less. Okay, let's, let's uh, see what we got in here, boys. Here's this build pump. Now what it actually has, if I can get it out, is this piece right here, and this is actually gonna help circulate the water. It's just gonna stick on and be spraying into the water the entire time. And this will stick on the bottom. It'll just keep the water circulating. And then, this bilge pump right here is literally just for filling it up and getting the water out. This is gonna come in really handy. All right, we moved inside because it's getting really cold out. Bilge pump, we're gonna stick that thing right there. I love these suction cups. That really comes to play. We got this thingy. Go ahead, connect it on. Run this up about the middle of the tank and have it, try to have it spraying down into the water. And then let's fill it up with water. Where's the water hose? See if it works. Peter, you're on water duty. You're on water duty. I'm gonna get this new batteries ready. You could take a bath in this cooler. It's so big. It really is pretty big. Oh yeah. Boom shakalaka. So the whole reason we have this build running what it's doing is it's putting bubbles in the air. The fish need bubbles, they need oxygen in the air. You know, fish actually need oxygen. So, uh, they need oxygen mixing with the water, and this is just mixing up the, the water. It's putting some oxygen back into the water, so it's not just still water. <laughs> He's out there dying. I can't breathe. <laughs> this bilge pump, pull this one out. Now to turn this pump off, gonna disconnect it from the battery. Okay, now let's say we wanna get rid of the water or put more water in it. If we didn't have a water hose like this right here. Now what we would do, ooh, that's tighter than a Tic Tac. Get it? Don't bring her up. <laughs> so now we're gonna throw this thing down in here. Connect the terminals. Push that down the water. But yeah, that's how this one works. You got me wet. I think we're good to go fishing. We're good to go fish, man. Good to go fishing. Just load this thing up. Live well's ready, man. Live well's ready. Let's throw the live well back here. Beautiful. Get some fishing gear. Don't Shallow diving uh, square bill is going to be perfect. Don't forget. I might wear them out today. Hey, are you ready? Yo. What are you throwing today? I might be throwing a square bill. Shallow diving square bill. Might be. want to hear. Might be it. All right, ladies and gentlemen, everybody. Say bye to Miller. I'll see you guys later. Go, go get some work done. I'll see you go, guys go later. Go work. Go get your bye. stuff done. Love you guys. We'll see ya. Follow me right wish here. Wish us luck. Follow me right here on No, the shut the up. Hey, wish us luck. Fun. Good wish luck, guys. Thank you. Good luck. We need the luck. <laughs> need the luck. All right, lady boys. I think we're going to head to the three pounder, the three pounder pond first and uh, pull out some big fish and take them to Garrett's. So let's, let's go over there and start fishing. 
Oh! All right, boys, we made it to the first pond. This is just a little pond. This is actually a pay pond. That's the real local to my house. We're gonna wait on going to fish the three pounder pond. I don't know how that the owner of it's gonna feel about us taking out a couple fish. So we're gonna hit all the local spots that we know is not gonna be an issue. And if we can get enough fish around here in these local ponds, maybe we can just leave the three pounder pond alone. Uh, we should be able to pull some big fish out of here, I'm hoping. So uh, let's just give it a shot. Small pond, won't take long to cover water. Get one. What is he? Oh, straight monster right there, son. Should we go get the cooler? All right, boys, there's our first fish. We're gonna have to get this cooler filled up. See if we can't pull a couple more out of here. The fish in this pond might be smaller. I don't know, we'll see how it does. I mean, if there's smaller fish, we can put more in it. So that'll also help. This will be also a really easy, good pond to get, get water out of. Very open right there to get the cooler down. Oh, let's get this big old cooler down out of here. All right, let's see what we got. Probably gonna have to end up epoxy in that. That geese over there has eggs. You better be careful. Where? Somewhere over there. Well, boys, the water is very dirty. We can't get far enough out there to get clean water. In the boat, this would work a lot better. But I mean, hey, we're making it work. Where's this bass? There's the first little bass right there, just a little baby. Go ahead, throw him in there. Hopefully, he'll do fine in that mucky water, but we'll see. Yeah, guys, if we catch another fish, we're going to go ahead and change the water in that tank and find a deeper spot along this pond and uh, get them in some cleaner water. Get them on up out of there. Oh, there's that little dude. See you, man. All right, you want to dump all this water? Water's too filthy. We're going to run to another pond. It's kind of getting hard to find a pond right now, but I do want to try to fish as many new ponds as we can. My buddy Reese, he actually has a pond, and uh, nobody ever fishes it. There could be slabs in there. We don't know, but uh, we're going to go give it a shot. Uh, we let him go just because we didn't want one fish riding in the back of the truck, and uh, go see what this other pond's looking like. Oh, let's see this pond. Now, this pond right here, I've never seen anybody fish in it. The landowners, honestly, they don't even know if there's fish in it. We'll just have to see how she does. Because I've had a mini bonfire sitting right here. Oh, boy. What you thinking, first impressions? It's got a dock. It's got an island. I don't yeah. see why there would be fish in here, man. Yeah, it looks like there would be a lot of fish in here. I've been coming to Reese's house for the past eight years, and for some reason, I've never asked for permission to fish this pond. But I also have never seen anybody fish this pond. So we'll run it. I know maybe this pond has some monsters in here, and just nobody knows about it. But uh, we just got to start cranking out baits and see what happens. Run these dock pilings. You run the bank. See what happens. I've yet to see any kind of action in the water. I don't even see little guppies. I don't see any. I know there's your iPhone 8 sitting off the end of this pier though. Water's pretty clear though. Really clear. Good gosh. Not seeing much of anything on the bank, boys. Get up on this dam right here and look down the water, see if we can't spot any. Let's go exploring, boys. We want to hunt for some fish. I ain't seen a bass. I ain't felt it hit. Yeah, but why would they somebody have and as long as this pond's been here, why hasn't somebody stocked it? All right, ladies and gentlemen, we made it to the next stop. Got the cooler carried down here, got the fishing rods. I've caught a ton of fish out of this pond. Me and Julius used to fish it a lot one or two years ago. Julius is actually at work. He might come hang out with us after, try to catch a couple fish, but uh, let's just start throwing and see what, see what we can pull out. Oh, you see him swipe at it? He missed it. I was trying to get the algae off of it. They lay up under this algae, dude. Switched up, throwing the June bug worm. See if we can't watch him hit it. Oh, he got him. All right, bet, 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 bet. All right, we got clean water in here for this big old boy. Look Drop him on. Bad yeah, you. he's going to be first. What's his name? This, well, we had to throw Jack back, so this Jack is Jack, Jack number two. Jack number two, Jack Jr. Thank you, buddy. All right, let's get this. Oh, he's going to be a little upset. All right. Let's go ahead and get this battery hooked up and get it pumping for old uh, Jack Jr. They're flowing. He's gonna jump out. He'll be good. Perfect. There's number one, baby. Let's get back at it. There's a lot of lay down. This is a perfect pond to build monster fish. A lot of algae, a lot of carp, a lot of lay downs. Lay downs over here, lay downs over there. A lot of structure. There's usually a couple in this corner. It's all the algae that makes it so clear. You can see all the plant life up under the water. This corner is usually the clearest. This could get really fun really quick. I'm gonna try to bust through on this algae over here and just dip it in the spots. There it is. Oh, he broke me off. I don't think the knot hold that or my line was rubbing. I set the hook like a son of a gun on him though. I said, there he was. I literally, dude, I let my pole down, grabbed right here and <laughs> let him eat it. I think my knot didn't hold, boys. Yep, and my knot didn't hold's what happened. We'll get back in there and get after another one though. Probably about time to, this one needed to get retied anyways. All right, we're back at it, boys. There's a good one. I wonder if he's the same one. He, he was in the exact same spot where I hooked the last one. Oh yeah, oh yeah. A little bit bigger. He choked it, son. He choked it. Could have been, it came out the same hole. What you know about that? 
They're about the same size. Here's though. Fred, dude. He's Here's so Fred. Fat, dude. Good fish, man. I know, oh, great good fish. fish. Open up the cooler. All fat and healthy. Let's compare them really quick. Just so make see it. <laughs> they don't like each other. They do not like each other. We need to get some more water in here. I'm scared one will jump out trying to get more water. Dude. We'll close the lid, they'll calm down, it'll be fine. Let's try to bust that one more, dude. Yeah, At let's least do one. It. Let's do it. Let's get back to fishing, y'all. I think they've gotten bigger. Like the average in this pond's gotten bigger since I fished it. He was about a seven pounder once he got in that moss. You broke off? Yes. Now we both broke off in this pond. Get back at it, boys. Let's go over here, get on this side of the pond and actually move spots. Haven't moved yet. There he is. There he is, boys. About a pound and a half. Look at that, boys. Here's another one. This pond's really producing, it's coming out good. This one's name's gonna be Miller, the little skinny dude. Uh-oh. They don't like new friends, bro, they don't. Come on, where's the next? Where's the next fish, boys? I need about two more. They're as solid as can be. There he is. No, he came off. Just grab the rear end of the worm. Let's get back down in there. Since I seen him take it, I just immediately jerked the hook. I didn't give it any time. Took it and it was tight. I got a bad habit. If I see the fish take it, instant reaction is to set that hook. An eight pounder would be cool. Oh, come on. Got him. He doesn't come off in all this moss. Number four, baby. Right in the hook at the top of his mouth. Dude, you got so much moss on you, man. Why'd you do that? I felt him hit it, and I think he let go of it. I felt him tap it one more time, and I went for it. It's a little bit smaller. We'll name him Barry. Look at all the fish we can hold in here, dude. Oh gosh, they got a lot of life. That tank's working so great. I'm gonna grab black for this one. I feel like black's not gonna work too great, but uh, we'll mix it up. Mix it up to black trick worm. Got him. Oh, little baby over here. Oh, no. We needed a small one though. Oh, you got one? Oh, we finally got a smaller one, bro. Heck yeah. What we got there, son? This peewee. Peewee? He little, but he feisty. All right, slowly put them in here. Don't drop it. See, we don't we, get hurt. We got, we got some pissed off bass in here. <laughs> when you They're doing so good. They are, man. They're actually, that, 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 that live well is the best thing I think we could have got. I know, I'm for serious. real. It's, it's working great. It's perfect. It is keeping those fish so healthy. Yeah, they're all sticking straight up. Really yep, and they're going. fighting around whenever we open up. I mean, lively fish. They're chilling. We might try to pull out a couple more and see uh, see what we can do. Maybe pull out a monster, who knows? Let's name the next one Bubbles. I feel like we need to put more brush in that pond though. Once we put the 10 pounder in here, he's gonna displace the water so high it's gonna be perfect. I wonder how many bass are actually in a smaller pond like this. All right, boys, we got the cooler loaded up. Look at all those buttes down there. Let's make sure this thing is locked. So we got a little drive home. The fish are doing so amazing. This live well is so perfect. Gonna work great for tournaments. So uh, anyway, let's go release these bad boys in Garrett's pond. Oh, you ready? I'm excited, dude. It's new fish, sick. new home. Live well's perfect. Let's hit the road. Yeah. Come on, Mella. We got to go fishies? stock a pond. Did you get some fishies? We got some fishies. Yay. We have made it to the pond, boys. Check it out. This is a pond we came in here, caught that big koi, and uh, we actually put some more brush in here, more structure for these fish. We do need to put bluegill in here, more bluegill. There's a lot of little bluegill for these bass to eat, and a lot of little guppies and stuff, but we do need to put big bluegill in here. We need probably a bunch of minnows. We're gonna try to get it, go to a bait store and find a bunch of minnows. Um, what else? What else do we need to do? We need more structure, because we're over here, you guys can see that back is the only place with structure in the pond, but uh, and it'll do for these bass for now. We're gonna definitely put some more in here, ASAP. So, Live well still running, my guy. Batteries yeah. didn't come oh, yeah. unhooked. See these fish right here. Open them up. Oh, oh yeah. yeah. Oh my One, God. Two, three, four, five. Uh -oh, here we go. They all have names. Oh uh, yeah. One of them, them uh, Pee Wee. Yeah. <laughs> Look at the colorations on that fish. He is hey. so feisty. He is pretty feisty. Let's see what this one is right here. Bite my thumb, dude. Look at those fish right there. Beautiful. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna get a little bucket to acclimate these fish to this water. We're just gonna dump water, pond water, into the cooler. Get them acclim temperature wise, get them acclimated to it. Gotta wait 15, 20 minutes. So we're gonna throw them back on the bilge pump and get them, get them some oxygen. He's getting filled up with moss. Acclimation. Take a, take a drip, take a sip. Do not, do not, do not. I'm not letting you, I know you will. I'll take a sip right now. No, no, please, don't. <laughs> No, <laughs> no, you want to. Got some pond water right here. We're just gonna try to fill it up with as much pond water as we can and let them sit. 
and just get acclimated to the temperature and whatnot. Uh, just get a couple cups of this. We got a lot of the pond water into here. We're just gonna let them sit, acclimate to it. Then 15 minutes from now, it's release time, baby. Their new home right here. Ooh, she a beaut, a fat old belly oh. on her. The two biggest, they're going in first. Look at that, almost twins. Old fat belly. Get the release on old fat belly there. Oh, bye baby. Welcome to your new home. Have a good life. Oh, she's Look so pretty. Her. Beautiful. Just swimming away, just so casually. Now let's get the release on this bad one right here. Oh, throw them. <laughs> Bye-bye. <laughs> hey, that's a big one too, though. I love them. You know that one right there? Uh-huh. Beautiful fish. Beautiful fish. Pee-wee. Oh, Pee-wee. <laughs> one of these is Miller. I don't know which one is it that, is. Is that me right there? Is that, is yeah, that I like this one's Miller right here. I yeah. think that's Miller. Wow. Bye, Miller. Oh. <laughs> oh, man. Oh. <laughs> you just picked him up out of the water. Not so fast. <laughs> He's ready to go. That live well's doing its job, man. Bye, buddy. Get back here. I squeeze his tail. <laughs> Get back here. What a freaking success. We got five good, healthy bass in this pond. There should be plenty of enough bait for them in here to eat. Definitely gonna get more bluegill tomorrow. Put some more structure. You cannot have enough structure for these fish. I walked over there, looked for Tic Tac, and I saw some little bait running through them. So they're, the, the they're bait's there. already oh, in the yeah, structure over there. there. That's, that's a great sign. Well guys, this is the first pond stocking video I have done for this pond. I think it came out great. I think tomorrow we need to go catch a ton of bluegill. Like how many bluegill? Like 20, 30 big old slab daddy bluegill. That's what we gotta go catch. The live well came in clutch today. Did a great job. We didn't forget no fish, that's good. I'm really enjoying how this thing's this how this little live well came out i think what we're gonna do i think we're definitely gonna epoxy all this stuff down we're also gonna put in another bilge pump one that just comes up this one's kind of getting clogged up with moss i don't want to deal with that but if we do have two running that'll be even better we'll run them on a timer get a timer on this thing so they're on off on off if you guys want to check out peter's channel come over here boy lipping Slipping Bass TV right here. Every time. <laughs> <laughs> He's going to be helping with this whole beautiful pond build. If you guys haven't seen the video of catching that giant koi, go down in the description. Go click on that link because it was epic. Hashtag Tic Tac. Hashtag Tic Tac, boys. Hey. Stocking this pond fresh, man. There ain't hardly anything in here. Fully stocked fresh is going to be awesome. We'll have to come back here in a couple weeks and bass fish it. it Maybe bluegill fish it. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Hope everybody enjoyed it. Please like and subscribe. Let's get this video to 10,000 likes and we'll do another one for sure. I'll catch y'all on the next one.